Hey everyone, this is Mark. Thank you for uh, once again taking a moment to watch my video. Um, we're going to do a sealed reveal. Um, I have not done one of these in a little while. It's been a little bit. Um, I got this recently. Um, this is, um, don't know if it's a first press. Um, this is the Living Stereo LSP 2523 of Potluck. Um, I believe it is a first press. We will find out momentarily. It is the Canadian uh, version, which um, the American and Canadian releases are pretty much identical. The only difference I've found out with the Canadian versions, uh, even if it is a first press, um, is they you just use a regular paper uh, sleeve, uh, whereas the American uh, releases had picture sleeves that would advertise all of Elvis's passed out. So I don't know why the Canadian version is different, but um, so you can see um, it is sealed. It's a beautiful, beautiful, you can see all four corners. It is in fantastic shape, and I, I didn't pay a whole lot for it. And why I'm thinking that it is the uh, first press is because it ends with, um, uh, well, it's got something for everybody up here, his hand in mine, of course, Blue Hawaii and GI Blues. Um, so yeah. Let's, of course, it does talk about the two different releases that it's available on LPM and LSP for mono and stereo. So, uh, like I said, this is sealed, as you can see. So, who knows? Maybe it's even an orange label. So, give me just a quick second to open this here. And it's tight. It's a it's a tight. As like I said, you can see it is, it is on there good. So, just uh, bear with me here. I liken these to open like opening like when I was a kid, opening up uh, a pack of baseball cards to see what's inside. So here you can see, it actually looks like, uh, you know what? <laughs> yeah, this is, this is uh, the, this is the later one. You can see all the, this is the later sleeve. It's even got the uh, Elvis in concert, so. Oh, well, it's not what I thought. I thought it might be a black label. It is actually a tan RCA Victor. So there you go. I've actually had this for a while. There, here's my, here's my Frisbee effect. I've actually had this for a few months, probably four or five months, and I knew I was going to do it for this video. I kind of forgot about it. I had it tucked away, and I thought, hey, let me shoot a couple of videos here one time and so uh yeah it's uh which is funny i think i see like a fingerprint on it which i've watched other people do seal the reveals uh i think it was ed from uh the king's court he had a couple that he opened uh sealed sealed to reveal and there was a couple fingerprints on it so uh, i don't know if you can see i don't know if you can see in the vinyl yeah this it's really hard to see it, it's real real faint you can't really see it that great um, I mean, other than that, the vinyl is in beautiful, beautiful shape, but it is the tan RCA Victor uh, label. Um, but uh, it does actually have a picture sleeve, which I had opened another one. I'm trying to think which one I had opened in a previous video, um, but it was just a paper, a uh, regular plain paper uh, uh, sleeve, and it just had the... Um, the circle, like the circle hollowed out, like it always does. So, like I said, I didn't, I didn't pay very much for this. I saw it on, I think I got it on eBay, or I think it was eBay I got it on. So, yeah, but I mean, other than that, the album's in a really, really nice shape. Um, this particular release, um, I've done a few releases, or a few videos on this. I did the VPI uh, release of this. Um, I recently, about a week ago, got the Potluck FTD Sessions uh, uh, set that has the five CDs to finalize, finish up my my uh, collection. I got all those now, all the releases for those. Um, as far as the sessions, I still have to get the Aloha FTD release that came out um, uh, a month or two ago. Um, you might say, what are you waiting for? I mean, there's so many incarnations of that album, but I hear I've heard nothing but phenomenal things about it. 
Um, so I am excited to, to get it. I know I'm going to add it to my collection very soon. Um, but this particular album in general, of the three post-Army albums that Elvis did, uh, Elvis is Back, Something for Everybody, and this one, uh, I think this one's my favorite. In fact, I don't think I know it is. I love, love, love this record. Um, it's got a couple of my all-time favorite Elvis songs on it. It's got Kiss Me Quick, which I love. Um, Just for Old Time's Sake is awesome. Uh, Suspicion, and then probably in my top five all-time favorite songs by Elvis, Fountain of Love. That's my favorite song on this album. Like I said, probably a top five for me. So yeah, I just wanted to do this quick uh, seal to reveal. Um, oh, it also shows the uh, EP. <laughs> I'll follow that dream on the bottom. I just happened to notice that. So, yeah, I try to get. Th I try to do these videos. I try to get them quick. Uh, like them to be informative. Like them to be fun. But um, so yeah, um, just a, a a quick video for that. Um, and uh, at the time I'm making this video, as I said in the other video I made just a few minutes ago, which I'll, I'll upload these a couple of days apart, um, I'm as of now, I'm nine subscribers away from a thousand. So really, really excited to get to a thousand. Um, I very much appreciate uh, those who have subscribed. If you like the content, please subscribe. And I want to do a lot of things. And, and honestly, I want you to leave, leave in the comment, tell me what you would like to see. If you would like to see more FTD CD reviews, more book reviews, uh, box set reviews, regular vinyl, FTD vinyl, whatever you want to see. I've, I have always said from the very get-go, this channel is for you guys. This isn't about what I want to show off. I mean, it is to a degree because I want to show you. I'm excited about what I have, but um, I have gotten some requests. I am going to get around to it. I had somebody ask me about a week ago to do a review on, um, I think it was Spin Out, if I'm not mistaken. So I will look to uh, do that. I actually don't have the Spin Out release. I have California Holiday, which is what it was known as in other countries. So I do have that copy. I have it somewhere um, tucked away. So I will do a, a review of that very, very soon. Uh, but if you have a request, there's something you want to see, there's something you want to discuss. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be anything vinyl. It doesn't have to be a review of anything. Um, if you want to talk more about the upcoming Elvis movie, uh, um, I'm looking to do a short series, probably a three or four part series. It's going to be coming up in the next week or so on um, the history on some of the jumpsuits, some of his, some of my favorite jumpsuits, some of the ones that were more popular that he wore on stage. Um, so that's coming up. That series is coming up. Like I said, I don't, it's probably going to be a three-part series. Um, so very excited to put that together. Um, thank you again for those who have commented. I really appreciate your feedback and your uh, encouragement. It means a lot. So uh, thank you for taking this time to watch. Um, I hope you have a great uh, day today. Uh, you stay safe out there. Until next time, we'll see you.